Hello. I'm uh, in the museum for the Atocha treasure ship. They uh, let you take photos and videos in here. I'm quickly going to get to the gold and silver. Um, they call this actually split shot when it's fired out of the cannon. Uh, you can see these are two halves of the ball and they actually separate and they twirl around and they'll actually uh, rip up the mast and destroy the ship. It's kind of an ingenious idea. Here's another version of it without a chain. Let's go through here. The Atosha Silver. I know everybody wants to get to the gold. I don't have a whole lot of gold in this museum. One of the numismatics of the silver coins from the Atocha treasure ship. Oh, I love these. I love actually the swords and the, uh, the uh, devices, shall we say, from shipwrecks. I know after Mill Fisher recovered much of the main treasure that the Spanish government like went after him tooth and nail. Oh, look at that silver box lid. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's go in here. These are copper, giant copper, uh, I can't call those ingots, but I forget how many thousands of pounds they found in the ship. These treasure ships are always super heavy and laden with all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's a fishing spear. You can see what it would have looked like. It's kind of ingenious. Let's go over here. Museum. Some of the spearheads and shot and sword hilts. Oh, the Spanish sword hilts are so intricate. Some of the axe heads. Sorry, I'm going through this kind of quickly, you know. Make a simple little short video. It's a deck cannon. They got an enormous amount of security in here, by the way, if you haven't noticed it. Here's some of the enormous silver ingots. They actually have a real one for sale in a store outside of here, and the guy said he wanted 160000 for it, and it was basically this size. These scoops are assayers marks to actually where they check the quality of the silver to see how pure it was. All of these bars have been assayed. They got a little scoop taken out and they melted it down and they were able to determine its purity and then they would stamp the purity marks on the bars. So there's right at, at $160,000 a bar, there's what, 300, six, nine, nearly 2 million nearly $2 million on this wall. It's just a not a new mess, uh, not a bullion grade value, but numismatic uh, treasure ship value. I remember this was one of the famous chains brought up from the Atocha. This gold chain is absolutely enormous. It looks like it's about, I don't know, if, yeah, 100 ounces or so. And treasure gold is something like, what, four to five times more than regular gold, so I don't know what this would be. It'd probably ring millions of dollars. My favorite thing in here is a, a gold and emerald cross. Let's show it to you here. Here's some more gold and some rings, some personal adornments, some chains. I love this type of gold chain. Here's one of the security and security guard over here peering in on everybody. Here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And here we go to some of the some of the goodies at the end. Gold disc squares. Those are pearls. Pearls. All the assay remarks. And my favorite, gold bars. And there's a display they're looking at over there of emeralds. They have a light on them, but these are some of the countless emeralds from the Atocha. And 
This is the end of the tour. Security guards over there peeking at everybody and everything. There's an emerald ring. Look at that. And there's the emerald and gold cross. Actually, that's emerald and silver and gold. It's enormous. I wonder what that's worth. I'd hate to guess what that's worth. And the gold cup. Drinking vessel. Thanks so much for watching.